stabbed you, didn't me? It was all on you. What else was I supposed to do? Ow! Look! Oh, you're bleeding. You keep away from me. You might be inflicted. Oh, shut up. Ah! <laughs> what time is it? Should I know? I think it's getting lighter. Yeah. I think I might be gone. Can we go, then? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sacrifice, my child. After that job, we were never bothered by Quint again, and we struck gold with the undead. <laughs> Realized that people would pay us ten times as much for your more unusual corpse. And the jobs kept finding us. It was as if we opened the door to another world and got a sniff of it, or it got a sniff of us. Came across all many of things after that. So, uh, trafficking the undead was more lucrative, eh? Absolutely. That's where the real money was. That's how it was for a while for me and old Willie Grimes, making good money. Snatching all sorts of things. Dead, undead. And, uh, who paid you? A select few. Those who realized the potential. Of course, it didn't always go according to plan. There were times when we would go to the trouble of unearthing things only to have them stolen from us. Snatched by a rival gang. Sometimes at knife point. Rival gang. What a bunch of conniving swines they were. Mm. You see, Willie and I, we were more your kind of... Happy-go-lucky types, but, you know, some people took things a little bit more seriously. Some of them are real creeps. Such as? We had run-ins with a crowd of lunatics called the House of Murphy. Ah, the famed House of Murphy. I've heard many stories about Cornelius Murphy and his gang. Mm. Hated us, they did. Well, see, we'd like to get in and out of the yards on notice, but they would make this big song and dance out of it. It makes it look like a right bunch of amateurs. Yeah. Do you have any recent encounters with the House of Murphy? Yeah, unfortunately, yes. Let me tell you about this one time. Strangest job I ever pulled. It was most bloody peculiar. You know, if you were to drop down dead right now, I'll probably sling you in that cart and call it a night. 
country. You didn't get a penny for my whiskey, Lord Cop. Hey, if I croak before you do, feel free to make a penny. Well, well, dear, it's not proper. Did you really try to sell me off? I might. The bloody cheek. <laughs> do you like my new car? It's quality. Very modern. Thought I might do a bit of shite shoveling with it. You know, running after the horses, collecting their shite to sell for compost. Well, it's good money and it's legal. You go fortune got me onto it. Mind you haven't bothered yet. Are you interested? I could loan you out the car. No chance. So what did Ronnie say about this piece, then? He said, there's a corpse out here that not only won't jump up and try to kill us, it'll fetch us a small fortune as well. That's a bit curious, isn't it? Oh, oh, Bollocks! Oh, fuck you, Grimes. Quality, what a piece of shite! Get the shovels. Frozen. What? Ground. It's frozen. That's gonna take all night to dig out. Why is it frozen? Nowhere else is. Well, if whatever it is, it's down there, it's frozen, then I'm a happy man. But if it's frozen, you won't be jumping about the place trying to murder us. I suppose. A bit unusual. Oh, yes, Arthur. It's it's curious. All right, I'll start it. You can finish it. box and all. Yeah. Should not even try to open it. I'm not carrying that thing back. It's freezing. Well, we should smash it open. Well, fetch more if we don't. Ow! <sighs> well, uh, hey, give us your knife. to move now. It's not as cold as it was in the box. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. Come on. Good evening to you, gentlemen. Now, if you don't mind terribly, you'll be dropping that corpse off for me now. Will he? 
You know this arsehole. Uh, Cornelius, don't mind the young fella. He's a little fresh around the ears. <laughs> I'm not there over now, boy. Arthur, meet Cornelius Murphy. Never you pet and hand him over the what's it. I'm gonna laugh on you. I'd listen to your boss if you want to live past tonight. That's a good lad. Now pass it along. Don't be stupid, Arthur. Do as the gentleman says. I'll explain later. On the ground there. Do it. Fred, I can't do that. You see, this took us a few hours to dig up. Now that we've got it, I don't want to give it back. Drop it and live. Drop the corpse. fumbling about cemeteries with this fool. Come and call on the house of Murphy. Somebody snatched our snatchings. You're in the wrong line of business. I'm all light at it. How do they manage it? Hey, who did you say that was again? That was Cornelius Murphy, and you're lucky to be alive. I think he just offered me a job. What? I leave a good thing like this. No. Ah, he seemed a little bit too intense to me. <laughs> so, fortune or what? Oh, why? I'm flat broke, though. Huh? Yeah, me too. I got this new bird, though. She might have a couple of quid. Ah. <laughs> Good for you, son. <laughs> Some jobs were harder than others. We went hungry at times. But mainly we made off with whatever we snatched. But you, uh, you took him up on his offer, Murphy. Mm, no, but I considered it. There were no flies on him. And if they were, they were paying rent. <laughs> uh, but you, you, you crossed paths again. Oh, I. Well, Willie and I had in for the snobs. They thought they were better than us. You know? When was when was the last time you crossed paths? Mm, not too long ago, but here. Let me tell you about the time I teamed up with the Whistler. There's Mr. Blake. He was a slippery bollocks. What about the Wrinkler? I have a million stories. I knew all this snatches. Mr. Blake! If we had the time, I'd love to hear all your lovely stories. But time is of the essence. Now, I would like to hear about the House of Murphy. Why? A gang of arseholes. I'm bored talking about them. Got what they deserved. What did they get? Eh? Look, uh, I, I would love to finish my chapter on the House of Murphy. Now tell me about Cornelius. Fair enough. Uh, let me see. Mad bastard. From a long line of mad bastards. Not much of a sense of humor. Believed to be in league with Lucifer. Does he now? Mm. And what about his gang? Well, old Cornelius and his gang had a knack for snatching the undead. He took it very personally. It's a family business with them. His father was the real mastermind. He had Cornelius and his gang doing all his dirty work. Supposed to be a right evil bastard. Anyway, Willie and I were told